All right, I do that a lot. And I know us amateur golfers, we leave a lot of strokes on the course over these short putts that have a lot of pressure. So today, I'm over at Sleepy Hollow. We're back with our guy, Kevin Sprecker. He's gonna show me some tips on how to be more confident standing over a short putt because I wanna score better. So let's go say hello. What's up, Kev? Hey, how are you? Good, man. Good to, Good see, to you. see you. You know, I always come back for quick fixes. Last time at Glen Arbor, you showed me how to do that, you know, that tight lie chip shot. It's yeah. working incredibly well. Good. I mean, these guys can attest to it. It's really helping. So I said, why not come back and work on the other thing that's hurting my game, and it's short putts. Yeah. Now, I'm great at 20-foot putts. I put them about a foot to the hole. I'm great at lagging, okay. but my problem is if I do lag a long putt, you know, and it's got three feet left, I tend to miss those a lot. Mm -hmm. So I want some tips on how to overcome that pressure and whatever else I can do. So the first is, let's talk about your mindset. Right. Right. What's your mindset on a 20-foot putt? I have no expectation. Right, exactly. Right. So then what do you focus on? The process <laughs> okay. of hitting the putt. Right? Yep. What happens when you get within five feet? What do you focus on? I focus on this ball needs to go in because I shouldn't miss this right. putt. You're focusing on the result. Right. Again, not the process. There you go. So one quick, simple answer is try to take the 20 foot mentality to the five foot putt. So care less. Care less. Don't expect to make the five footer. Okay. Like just like the other one. So go through the process to give yourself the best chance to make it. I love it. Right, so that's the short, quick, simple, okay, let me try that quickly. Now, there are other things that tends to happen within the five feet that you don't do on the longer putt. Hmm, um, okay. One thing is your grip tends to be a little bit lighter. Why is that? Well, it's a short putt, you don't swing as hard. So you're just, okay. So a lot of people hold it lightly, but the problem is when you hold it lightly, you break down. It doesn't take much to miss. So that can cause the pull. Or it the can cause the pull yeah. or the push. I see a lot of people that get over the putt and they, they just stop their hands going forward because they're afraid to hit it too hard. And what happens is when you stop your hands from going forward, the face points left or you don't want it to go left and you hold on to it and it goes right. I think a great tip that a buddy of mine told me, Daryl Kestner said, is treat this like a tap in. Watch this. If, if you were to hit a putt from six inches, how many of these have you ever missed? Barely any. I mean, those are the easy ones. You probably made 99.999%. Right. Mm -hmm. So this speed that you hit it in and you don't think about it, that's a tap-in speed. If I intentionally miss the putt, watch how far past the hole this goes. Hmm. About four or five feet. Right. So if I go back to, to your five-footer here, I pretend the cup is right here and give it that same tap-in speed. This, this same tap-in speed. I'll get the speed correct. Not yeah. that you have to aim it, but sure. you'll get the speed correct. Right. So it gives you a little bit different process. Okay. So I want you to try that for me. Let's give it a All shot. Right. First, show me your tap-in speed. Okay. So how hard did you hit that into the hole? Right. Okay. So now come back here. This is the putt you just missed. So pretend that the hole is where my foot is. Okay. I'll move my foot, but hit the ball to, to the, where my foot is at the same speed. Okay. Okay. That's taking Frank's money right there. Right there. All day. There. Yeah. Right. Right. Something Completely different. Again, but, but, but what I like about it is you're focusing on what to do, right? not the result of making the putt. That's the biggest thing, that, or the biggest mistake that I see a lot of amateurs make. It's the, all, it's the expectation. Yeah. Right? No one expects to make it from over there. True. The fact that you can hit it to within a foot is really good. Yeah, it's not all the time. It means but, you're a good putter. But I can, can, can you, get to that got, three you, foot you, radius. Right. Which is what you want. Yeah. But this is but what they call I... the throw up zone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> because again, it's it's all mental. It's not physical. Yep. Right. It's just you're 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 going you're changing focus again. I hate to say it, it can be that simple. So remember, it's just to here. Yeah, so tap in drills yeah. better. Get more control. So you know, to the swing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Again, just think about it. How many because times you... have you missed a putt from there? Right. And it rolls for, on a decently, you know, our greens are pretty quick here, on a decent speed green, it'll roll four or five feet. Sure. So if you take that process, a lot of times people will miss because they don't know how far they hit the putt. Okay. Yeah. Right? You get, you know, right. If, you, if you don't know how far to hit a four footer, you kind of get a little flinchy. Mm -hmm. So just hitting four foot putts, sometimes not even to a tar not even to a hole. Right. So if we, if we take away the hole, go back to the shaft there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now start here and just roll the ball to the shaft. How hard do you have to hit it to get it there? Okay. Pretty good. Got it. So we got the same, the same focus. 
Yeah. And that's just practicing learning how hard to hit the putt. Right. And that right there is what I'm going out on. Yeah. Because I totally get it now. The tap intro, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Huge thanks, Kevin. Yeah, thank you're you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Always learn something when I'm with this guy. Good stuff. Guys, thanks. We'll see you soon.